In this tutorial, we will build direct checkout in Elementor and WooCommerce using a few lines of PHP code. You won't be needing any extra plugins or anything else, just a few lines of code to create this kind of um, shorter and faster experience for your customers. So I have a very simple product page here. It is not designed, it is there just, to, just for the purposes of this video. And I have the button uh, purchase this package, which, which can be basically add to cart button. And normally by default, if you click on this, uh, you would go to the cart page. Uh, now, what we want to do is that uh, we want to skip that cart page and go directly to checkout where we can just pay and get our product. This makes uh, a much faster and shorter experience for your customers and therefore increases the buy rate on your website. And it is very useful if you have just one item that you are selling or just one subscription based product and so on. So you don't actually need your customers to add items to the cart because they will be only purchasing one product. Let's see how that works. If I click on purchase this package button and I have already set it up in such a way that it goes directly to my checkout page. If I click on it, it will lead me exactly to my checkout page. So I'm basically skipping the My Cart page using PHP with no uh, extra plugins. Let's see how to do that. First, I've created a template in Elementor and I'm using Elementor Pro, so you cannot create uh, Elementor templates um, and themes without the Pro version. And uh, I've used this template uh, to make my product page. So basically I've created a template where I have the product image, and product title, some product content here, product price, and the custom add to cart button. This can be a regular add to cart button. The only difference is that I wanted to customize it a bit and change the label on the button so that it doesn't say add to cart, but for example, purchase this package or something else, but it would work uh, the same way. So I have basically placed uh, these items on my product template page so that it applies to every product, um, every product that I have in my offer. The next thing I want to do is to go to my WordPress uh, and WooCommerce settings. And basically what WooCommerce does is that by default, this purchase the package or add to cart button where you're adding your product to the cart uh, will be set in such a way that it does not actually direct you to the cart page so that you can continue uh, browsing the website, adding products and so on. So we first want uh, to connect this button and to say that we want to be directed to the My Cart page after the successful uh, addition of the product. So I will go to my WordPress dashboard, WooCommerce and Settings. In the Settings, I will go to my Products tab scroll down a little bit and then you can see add to cart behavior and you need to check this box so this needs to be enabled that says redirect to the cart page after successful addition this will make sure that you actually go to the cart page if you leave this blank if you leave this unchecked nothing will happen basically you will just add the product to the cart but it will not actually direct you to the my cart page so first make sure that this is enabled and after that click on save changes next thing is that you want to use php code for this and in order to do that go to plugins and add new plugin now uh, here you can find a plugin called code snippet and this is a very useful plugin that i always use on my websites because it enables you to add custom php code and with this PHP codes, uh, you can basically create, extend the functionality of your website without some extra plugins and so on that will make your website slower and bulkier. So go to Code Snippet and install and activate this plugin. After installing it, you will find the snippets in your uh, WordPress dashboard on the sidebar. So go to Snippets and click on Add New. When you click on Add New, just call this snippet something, for example, direct checkout snippet, and then paste the code that you can find in the description of this video. Uh, you can just copy and paste it here, and you can see it has a comment here that says skip cart and go straight to checkout. And we're basically using some filters and some 
uh, PHP functions that will basically uh, skip the cart page and go directly to the checkout page where we can pay and get our product. So just copy and paste this code and click only run on site front end and then go ahead and click on save changes and activate. So once the code is activated, we can go to our product page. Let's refresh it. And then we can go and click on purchase this package and you will see that it leads us to our checkout page in WooCommerce. If you go ahead and deactivate this snippet, let's just do this as a test. So deactivate it, as you can see now it's deactivated. And uh, go back to your product page and refresh. Let's see what this does if we click on the purchase this package or add to cart button basically. Let's click. And as you can see, we are now on the cart page instead of checkout page. So in order to go to the checkout page, just make sure that this code is activated. And um, that's it. I hope you like this video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in learning more CSS and signing up for a small mini course on CSS for beginners, let me know using the link in the description of this video and get on the waiting list.